Relativity in Quran. In this video we will look at two circumstances given in Quran that we can apply time dilation of special relativity. In physics and relativity, time dilation is the difference in the elapsed time as measured by two clocks. It is either due to a relative velocity between them or to a difference in gravitational potential between their locations. When unspecified, time dilation usually refers to the effect due to velocity. First let's look at Quran Surah 70, Ayah 3 and 4. The verses say it is from Allah, owner of the ways of ascent. The angels and the spirit will ascend to him during a day the extent of which is 50,000 years. The data we use will be one day and 50,000 years which is 18,262,100 days. Number of days in a year is 365.242 days. The time t in the moving frame of reference is one day for an observer there. The earth is the stationary frame of reference and time t dash is 18,262,100 days measured from the earth. For the earthbound observer, the time ticks slowly in the moving frame of reference. We will substitute these values in the time dilation equation shown here. The most accurate speed of light is 299,792,458 meters per second. We better use an online calculator that give larger number of digits. We can use the Kisan Casio online calculator for high precision. We can also use any calculator that gives large number of digits for accurate value. We will set number of digits of the calculator to maximum, which is 130 digits. This is to ensure we never lose accuracy by decimal correction. When we type the values in the formula and execute, it is very surprising to see the ascent is extremely close to the speed of light. It is also very useful to check if our value is correct. We can do this doing a reverse calculation. We substitute the whole answer in the time delay equation. And we can confirm our answer correct as we get 18,262,100 days. When further calculation is done, we get 50,000 years. Using the data given in Quran Surah 70, Ayah 4 and applying them in relativity. Surprisingly it is found that stated ascent can take place very close to the speed of light when corrected to six decimal places and eliminating the zeros. The value becomes 299,792,458 meters per second and it is the exact speed of light. The difference may be due to the precision in our measurements. Let's repeat the same method of calculation for Surah 32 Ayah 5. The ayah says, he arranges each matter from the heaven to the earth. Then it will ascend to him in a day, the extent of which is a thousand years of those which you count. The data we will use in now is one day and one thousand years which is equal to 365,242 days. When we calculate the value as before, we find that still the value is close to the speed of light. When we correct to two decimal places and eliminate the zeros. Again we get the speed of light. Let's look at some facts. Albert Einstein introduced relativity in 1905. The present the most accurate speed of light was experimentally found after centuries of increasingly precise measurements. In 1975 the speed of light was known to be 299,792,458 meters per second. Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, lived from 570 CE to 632 CE. How could Prophet give such data 14 centuries ago? Unless they were words of Allah. This video is brought by alithari.com.